and in Samaria, and also the uttermost part of the earth. Nine, and when he had spoken this wind, this thing, why they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Hallelujah. Then, Hallelujah. It's okay. He said, when you look at the context of that story, you are going to realize something. The emphasis of the New Testamental culture of ministry and the establishment of the church is upon the predication of the strength of God. The strength of God is wielded upon power. When the Bible speaking said, all power is Jesus. Jesus Christ paid the price to come into a statutory authority of power. Everything that Jesus Christ went through was to bring him to a point where he can receive power against anything that is established. Why? Because upon the face of the earth, the display was the display of power. All the gods, all the idol worshippers, all the all kinds of uh, uh, all kinds of things that were established there were actually executing certain level of power. Men submit to kings, men submit to gods, men submit to an idol just because of the level of power they have. So Jesus Christ came to introduce a kingdom, but that kingdom cannot be introduced until a power is demonstrated. Because nobody is interested in hearing his story. Because far beyond he came, eh, there were many other religions that were there. And most of those religions were morally right. But Islam will tell you that they are religion of peace. So what actually we saw was that there were established kingdoms, established religions that were already there. And Jesus Christ came to introduce another culture again. But that culture cannot be introduced until it actually introduced by power. Because the established culture are not willing to give space. So when he came, he did many of the things he did by a demonstration of power. So by the time he came upon the face of the earth, the first thing we saw, all through the life of Jesus Christ, he was a good man and he never did anything. Until the Holy Ghost came upon him and immediately when the Holy Ghost came, that day he received power. He was led to the wilderness to be tempted. When he came back, the first thing he began to do was to begin to do miracles. Oh, so why wasn't he doing miracle all those times until that time? It meant that everything that he was was not being able to come into fruiting until power came. So power has the ability to animate the reality of God and the potential possibility that lies in God. So everything that God tried to do through a man was full time, was not possible because power was not in view. So immediately when Jesus Christ came upon the face of the earth, far beyond just saying, the kingdom come, subscribe to it. Men have been hearing those stories a long time ago. What they want to see is that what can your kingdom offer to us that the other kingdoms cannot offer? Let me tell you too, if I can find a God that is better than the God of heaven now, I will follow him. I'm not as religious as you think I am. Everybody is looking for an advantage because the mankind is designed to be a man with all kinds of infirmity. And because of the infinite infirmity nature of mankind, mankind is looking for an advantage. And somehow you can find that advantage in diverse possibilities. And that's why people subscribe to an idol. Others subscribe to an occult. Others subscribe to all kinds of things. So in the days when Jesus Christ came to reveal another kingdom, he came with a demonstration of power. Knowing fully well that only in the days of his power would the people be willing. And the Bible says, through the greatness of that power will the enemy submit themselves. Why? Because the enemy will only submit when they see a greater power. So he said that they are talking about the restoration of the kingdom unto Israel. What they meant is that these are established authority. They have the power to kill. They have the power to crucify. They, you can start anything they will deal with you. They will lock you in jail, lock you in prison. They will cut your neck. He said, okay, wait. This thing you see me do, the reason why I'm doing this thing up to now, they could not kill me, was because there's a power. Because there are times when they capture him and they want to go and kill him. He passed by their knees. There are times when they decide to do something bad. Somehow, he passed by. So they could not really understand how he was offending these people and yet he was still surviving. It was by an agency of power. So why he was about to go? Because all through when he was around, when they were hungry, he created something. When they did this, he multiplied. He was multiplying food. He was, all of those things he was doing was by what? By power. Everything Jesus Christ did was by power. Healing the sick, raising the dead, multiplying food. Everything was by power. So he said, by the time you see all of this thing happen, know that the kingdom of God is here. So when men saw him, they said he cast down this thing by Bezebo. Why? Because them two have certain level of power. But by the time they began to look at him closely, they saw that far beyond what Bezebo could not do, he was able to still do it. Because if Bezebo is what he used to cast down, why will he not cast out Bezebo himself? 
So he tried to let them understand that when you see this thing happen, that a superior power eh, overpower your own power, it means that another kingdom has come. So your life now will never make sense until your family begin to see that what kill others cannot kill you. Your life now will never make sense eh? as, your, as being a Christian until your family see that everybody in the family is limited. Nobody can marry. Then you marry. Ah, They cannot understand that me, I'm 35 years old. I have not married. Me, I'm 40. I have not married. You, how did you marry? By an agency of power. And maybe the other lady that is 40 years old, she's more morally right than in fact she's a virgin. So until your family begin to see that the things that they cannot do normally, you are not doing it. They don't ask, how did this thing happen? It is actually by an agency of power. And it means that you have subscribed to another kingdom. Subscribe to another lord beyond their own understanding. So now, because of that, they cannot begin to have the desire to love that kingdom also. So Philip went to a land. He did many signs and wonders. When he was done, they said, Kai, let's follow this one because he did this. So Paul went to a place, he said, I do not come with the eloquence of speech, but with the demonstration of power, so that my preaching and my teaching will not be the, with the enticing words of my wisdom. When you see men not willing to align to God, it's because their power eh, is weak, and the power of God is not strong in their life. When you see men that are deformed of character, it's not because they lack character, it's because they lack the power of God over their life. Because the power of God has the ability to bring your own influence under the control of God. Power that God has was what made Jesus live a character life. That what made Jesus live a life of holiness, humility, life of love, and everything. So it is possible for you to be a man of character and a man of power. If you tell me you are a man of power, you don't have character, your problem is a default problem. It has nothing to do with your prayer. Because Jesus was our pattern man, and he was a man that had both power and he was also having character. So you, you are just a bad man eh, that just have power. Because a bad man is actually a man that is bad. You know what I'm saying? You may be a pastor, you are still a bad man. It has nothing to do with whether because you are not character. How do you get character? Because that's the problem. Many people say, okay, we are man, power, power. Can we have character? You see, the willingness is only possible when the power is introduced. Because only in the days of the power that the people shall be willing. And it's through the greatest of the power will, will people submit themselves naturally. So when they begin to ask Jesus, now you say you are going, what about this kingdom? Will you restore it back? He say, it's not given to you to know these times and seasons. But ye shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come, then you can become witness. That means all through their life, they have never witnessed to Jesus. Because it's impossible for them to witness to Jesus with that power. You think you can go and start up the church that already was start in that place? That snake would have killed you. Many people will send them to villages, they die. When you see men go to regional and see stand, it's because a power was in view. Not because they carry Bible and put it in their neck or put it in their shoulder. Many years ago, I used to have terrible kinds of oppression. An old woman used to come to sleep with me with her children. When they are done, they will laugh at me and run away until i began to join in god in prayer those times i would tell my family when you want to sleep bring your bible let me lie on top of it so i will gather bibles i will put one here here one here one here we are here and i will sleep inside so blessed are me among the midst of bible but at night the demons will come and sit upon that bible and knock my head in the days when the demon come to oppress you and you are trying to shout gee 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 you can't shout jesus is because there is no power in you in the days when there is power in your life, you don't need to shout Jesus, a sword will appear. You will find yourself worrying because a power was in view. If Jesus leaves us with that power, we are going to die. In fact, we cannot even represent the kingdom before we are cut off. The believers of time past, they were wise enough. They knew that silver or gold they did not have. Mind you, they didn't just say the name of Jesus. What they mean is that in the name of the power of the authority of Jesus, rise up and walk. You know what I'm saying? You can go and stand in the name of Jesus and nothing may happen. But in the name of the authority given in power in the name of Jesus, you can do something. Because right now the name of Jesus is in your lips. But why is the name of Jesus not potent? There is no power. So I want to let you understand that one of the only ways that you can receive this power is after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And that is afterward you can now receive power. 
so jesus christ was trying to let them understand that i myself i am god myself but i was not able to witness all through my life i was god and i humbled myself enough because i knew that the holy ghost has not come until the holy ghost came he didn't do anything he was patient enough to wait for almost 30 years and never dare to confront anybody in israel if he has dared to try anything they will kill him and that was why in the days when herod wake up and say let them kill every child of his age an angel need to be beckoned upon to reveal to his father take this child out of this place to egypt if not they will cut his neck if they have keep him there he will die why because power was not in view the same way when you see pastors die like chicken when you see your father things happen badly it's because power was not in view not because jesus christ is not lord so he said don't dare to do anything this kingdom you want to challenge is only possible when ye receive power from on high because he begin to offend them when he begin to actually come to that point of receiving power himself and he said after that has done you cannot become witness but what he was trying to let them understand in that scripture was that the first level there was the first level of power which is dunamis i just go within that minute and you don't cannot praise more what we saw him spoke there was dunamis because if you study as I said, many of you have gone to bible school that's good i love that at least you can follow me small there are many hebrew words for power I don't want to go into that but let's look at the culture of the new testament there are many greek words for power and if you are if you are a student of the greek context you will be able to understand what we call description and prescription because sometimes scripture describes some things other times it prescribes some things and if you don't understand the context of the communication of jesus you make mistake this is the reason why we interpret things according to our own feelings but the scripture cannot be understood by your feelings you have to be able to be aided by the spirit of god to understand it because no man is the best teacher the only balanced teacher is the holy spirit and if the holy spirit do not educate himself you will still be a woe and that's why you must be like the burial christian as i'm talking to you right now god is still talking to you so he's bearing witness to what i'm saying if it's not true go and dust it out the first word there was actually dunamis but you see everyone that begin with god begin with exousia not dunamis because prior before this time eh jesus christ has given them exousia if you look if you study very well the bible says he called the apostles two by two and he gave them what power then what is he talking about again when you're not telling them that they will receive power but he has given them power before and mind you when you go downward eh, he said that they should tarry when they tarry they will be endued with power then they will become this while he was talking to him the bible said a cloud came and covered him and he was taken off what happened to him was an enablement of the manifestation of power called epikaizo that a time came that while he was done talking to them and overshadowing of a power another dimension in his strength came and took them again but why is he talking about power now when he has already given them power before at that time what he gave them what we call exousia so when he called them two by two he gave them power he gave them delegated authority to go and do a thing so by the time they went they said demon go out the demon go out this one happened it happened but it was not their realm of operation it was what was borrowed to them for a moment just like if i borrow my clothes to you i say go and use it for a while you can go and use it and come back and give me my clothes but it doesn't belong to you so that was what happened to them then he gave them a borrowed power and that power is called exousia it's a power of choice that was given to you so today i can decide and make you the president of a fellowship you are not the president you are just there for maybe one year or two years after then you are taking off so that was what happened to them they were given exousia for a moment so at the particular jurisdictional time that they were given it they can function in it but immediately after a while a woman a man came with his son that was possessed they could not do anything uh -uh. they were not surprised i thought you gave us power he said what i gave you that time was exousia and now it has expired that is what the life of believers are i can send you like the way elisha was sent by elijah with the mantle and he went the time that was given as expire when he went it didn't work but elijah came it worked the possessor of the mantle has no expiring date but you can partake of it for a while that is what impactation does impactation gives you exousia sometimes it gives you a willfully deliberated power for a moment so you can function in, in it for a while then it will die by the time you refuse to grow in it you can come to the point of dunamis so they received so many impartations from jesus but immediately when he was gone all of them backslide 
all of them went back and fishing some of them deny him all kinds of things happen so he appeared again he said go and tarry you will not receive exusia now i cannot send you in my name Mm-mm. go and tarry until you are endued with power so they have to go and begin to tarry he didn't give them the number of days and the time he said just remain in the upper room and that is where christianity was better because christianity is the movement of men from the upper room it's when men were launched out from the upper room that christianity was being launched out we will never actually know about christianity if we don't know about the upper room experience the upper room experience solidify our christianity because it was from that standpoint that when they came out the bible said they saw them and they said these men have been with jesus all of them were afraid but immediately after the upper room experience when dunamis came they were willing to go out but mind you dunamis itself was not the end product because immediately after dunamis the next thing you must move into is what we call iskus because apart from just receiving dunamis dunamis is actually a potential power a potentiated power that is not energized in action because everybody of you here an average of you have received the holy ghost but why is it that that power is not in you to do anything it's because the power in itself just as exusia expire dunamis can be there and is impotent i want to bear to let you understand that there is power in this chair but you may not know until i take it and i hit it on your head there is power in my hand but you don't know until i blow you there is power in a gun unto you the gun has dynamics but the dynamics need to be converted in the same way that you have power in you but you must be able to initiate a process a protocol to convert that power so that it can be beneficial to you every iron is hot but not all iron are hot except the iron is plugged into an electric supply if the iron is not plugged you can still carry it and even iron your stomach but let's plug it for five minutes then iron your stomach and see you will understand the difference between dunamis and iskus every wire has electricity it can shock but until the one that is connected that can shock if neighbor take like now you can even take the wire and touch your body you can even lick it with your mouth nothing will happen why because it has dunamis the dunamis is not become iskus yet but let neighbor bring light go and touch it you understand the difference between dunamis and iskus because iskus is kinetic energy dunamis is potential energy every believer must understand that god has hidden power and energy inside of him but the potential effect of power and energy upon the believer is upon the conversion factor the holy ghost himself is the sole distributor of this energy but in yourself you have the capacity the engineering mechanism to do the converting factor because energy can neither be created or destroyed but it can be transformed from one form to another so in the days when you need to convert it you can easily switch on the holy ghost help us to switch on and that was why jesus christ was praying all the time why because you need to switch all the possibilities of power do you know jesus christ prayed when he was kidnapped when he was captured he refused to pray again because he know that if he opened his mouth to pray power will be converted to take him out of that situation so he refused to pray why because he knew when the pilot looked at him he said do you not have the power to kill you or to leave you he said no 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 i am not willing to be delivered of the situation i must go through this situation because if i beckon now legions of angels will be sent and if legions of angels are sent you will have a, you will not even have a place to run away to because the angels are willing they say what is this what is this abba father why look upon your son and he is led to be slaughtered like this by carnal men it was a painful thing for god to see his son that has power yet being bruised and it is more painful for the son that has power in himself to permit himself to be led to the slaughter because there are times when god puts that in dimension in you not to manifest but so that you can become custodians and keepers of those dimensions when you begin to join in god and you begin to pray you convert other kinds of dimension and they are locked in you not just so that you can manifest them is so that you can become a custodian the keeper of those dimensions so that like joseph and like jacob in the days you are about to die you can look upon your children and you can see come gather here my children let me tell you what will become of you you say ruben thou art the first strength of my arm the excellency of my power but you shall not excel because as unstable as waters you have defied my couch 
so a man can decide the destiny of his son why by the ordination of the power upon him so he can look at dan he can give them a prophecy he can look at zebulon he can look at Issachar. he will begin to look at each other and one of them and define them by an oppression of a custodian spirit in him but mind you everything he spoke about each tribe become their reality why because there were dimensions of possibilities in him that he didn't manifest when he was dying he transferred them but even when he calls Reuben in the day that Moses too ascended to that realm to become a custodian in the book of Deuteronomy, he looked at Reuben. He said, Reuben, you shall not die. Let Reuben live. And he took away the curse that his father put upon him. When a man begins to pray, he come to a point where he ascends a plane in the spirit and everything written about him, he will edit it. But when you do not pray, any verdict, any curse, any written indignation, any ordinance is spoken against you, we stand only by prayer can you ascend the bounds the, the place of the mountain of zion and look and say no this one is not part of it this one is not part of it this one is not part of it when a man begins to pray he joins into iskus by the time you come into a dimension of iskus it's a kinetic power the power is in action the power is moving and that's why every time a man begins to pray you begin to feel electricity inside of you what is happening is that dunamis is converted to iskus sometimes you are studying the bible as you are studying it's as if lights and revelations enter you it's iskus you are being infused and prepared for the days of battle why because the horses are prepared for the days of battle many years ago the lord told me don't 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 study to preach he said a prepared man is better than a prepared message so anytime i dwell with the lord for 13 hours for 20 hours for 15 hours i'm just studying the bible not to preach so that i can become it and in the days when you become the living scriptures you can talk from now to the next 35 years i can talk like this and keep on talking like this you can't exhaust what i'm saying why because as i'm speaking to you right now a whole is upon me now and they are pouring something like an oil upon me and you can see the strength as it's releasing i may not even know how i'm quoting these scriptures it's because in the place of dwelling it has become east school so now an energy is burning inside of me now it's like a fire moving it's what we call east school. it is from that that I can shake you now and you will see something be transferred to you the Bible says, as iron sharpened iron, so is the countenance of one sharpened by the other. It's Iskus. A believer that does not understand the strength of the power of God as Iskus cannot transfer it. Many of you have power, you don't know how to transfer it. The challenge of you is to orchestrate the power. But Iskus in itself is not the end product. You must journey from Iskus into Kratos. Because there are days. Eh? when you may be like this with Iskus but you are met with a situation that you need to come back at that time what you need is Kratos because Kratos is a force is an energy that is at working to come back so in the days when you go to a shrine I was I flew into worry and they took me to their shrine they say apostle our father survived it all these are the shrine these are I say, gather all the shrine, bring them here. I say, the break of idol is here. Ban perasin is here. See, let me tell you, you can break any idol so long as you have power. You don't need the Lord to tell you, go and break it. You can break it. I say, gather them. They were afraid to touch them. I got, I say, an idol is a worthless doctrine. It has no power to do good. It has no power to do evil. Every power an idol has is the power you ascribe to it. I refuse to make an idol stronger than me i refuse yes, because the idol itself is not strong is the spirit that came to manipulate that your foolishness to make it strong because spirit moved to virgin region looking for what to possess so you have made yourself a slave in the days when gideon break the idol they say hey bring him let's kill him he said no if your god if Baal is God, let Baal kill my son. If Baal cannot kill the son, then the son is the breaker of idols. We gather them. I set them on fire. The idols burned. 
many men come people will die people will die i say it's a lie nobody will die till now nobody died i went to kaduna i went to a place they are serving snakes i'm not talking about idol that are not alive i'm talking about something that is alive because when you meet a power that is alive what you need now is kratos because you know now that that power is real because when power jump power is the greater power that surmount the smaller power because you can have each schools and you are still running away yet you are feeling the power inside of people are running away when men lay hands on men what do you think brought that down it's kratos because what you see look at my body but <laughs> if you don't have kratos you will die there are times you are flying in the plane and the plane go into some region they miss the navigation and it's taking you out of space what you need to do is to speak to that element or guard it on back because when a man joins into Kratos he's trying to look for a way to survive in the midst of death when Moses eh, went to Pharaoh he threw a rod the rod became snake don't worry he didn't know that them two can do it them two threw their own at that time what you need now eh, is Kratos because what they want to see is the power that can swallow another power and Moses himself did not understand that dimension exists. He was confused. And suddenly, the snake swallowed the other snake. That was Kratos. Because in the days when you go to your village, many years ago I went to my village. I went and stood close to an idol. I began to pray. Baga, 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 baga. They slapped me. Ba! So you don't pray here. I went and met my mom. I said, Mommy, when are we leaving this village? I said, okay, let me sleep. As I closed my eye, the idol came again. Who told you to pray there? I could not sleep again. I left my eye like this. Because anytime I sleep, something will come to oppress me. Why? I don't have Kratos. But after like four years, I went back there. I went and stood in the grave of my grandfather. The grave of my great-grandfather. I said, let every spirit of unrest ancestor rest now. And when he tried to awake... Oh my God. A sword appeared in my hand and I didn't know I was a warrior. I began to fight. There are things that are battling your life right now that can only go down by Kratos. I know you have the Holy Ghost but you must join in the realms of power to come to a point where the power in you is greater than the power outside. The Bible says he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. Why? Because greater... But that reality is only possible to men that can journey through the realms of power. When you begin to join in the corridors of prayer, you will realize that your life is not a normal life. In the days when men say, Babalola is nonsense, Babalola is nonsense. When a madman came with knife, right? He we call last. He collected the call last. What do you think happened? It was Kratos. Because at the appearance of the greater power, the smaller power bow. But in full dimensions, of all of this power must be at work in a believer's life i went to kaduna they took me to a shrine i saw living snakes like living snake people worshiping snakes i was shocked it was in kogi state that i went i saw all kinds of idols that got me afraid kogi people are very terrible even the muslims serve idols they go to church they still go to mosque but they still go to idols every house has a shrine and the children is alive because there is a priest that serves the altar. When I went there, I saw masquerade physically. But we went there, we break all the idols. As we break them, men die. Have you been to a shrine where the powers are real? Where you see something jumping up and jumping down and it's bringing light like this? You will doubt the Holy Ghost you have. At that time, what you need now is Kratos. Because you may go and touch it and die. So you must be sure. While we went, I saw snakes, big, big snakes. As I entered there, the first thing I told the intercessors that came with me, they wanted to pray. I said, keep quiet. Let's repent now because from here we may die. Because what we are coming to confront is not just a dead idol. These are idols that are alive. These are mobile altar. 
as they began to pray i said maybe you came here with sin you came here with one kind of maybe you have seen before you came here maybe you lied maybe you slept with one lady let's repent because we may not live again after now i said let's not pray first let's repent first because the snake did like this the other one did like this and all what we came with was anointing oil goya goya oil and i know that there was nothing in the goya if there was nothing inside of us my brother that one will save us the other one has the bible but when it's time to run he will throw the bible on away so i said let's repent because we are here we may die so we knelt down we began to repent we repent you see when when daniel confronted the idols of his fathers he repent of his iniquity and the want of his of his predecessors so we began to repent after we repent as i stood up i don't even know what to say as i shouted jesus before i finish jesus the snake shouted and they began to run i say intercessors now you can pray in tongues now and here we enter the waters we began to look for the snake we began to anoint the snake ran away but of course the next day the snakes came and attacked my friends and all of them were admitted to hospital you see but we won sometimes you can fight battle yet to be afflicted but don't worry you will win the battle the manifestations of all this power bring you to a point i call number one koinonia the goal of power is not a demonstration it's to bring you to a point of intimacy with god god give you power so that he can lure you closer to him i get what i'm saying now anytime you see a man that spent time with god is a man that actually has touched certain level of the power of god because when god releases his power upon you is to lure you to the presence so the manifestations of this dimension of power bring you to a point of koinonia a place of participation sharing together a place of common union with god from that point of intercourse you cannot be able to contain more of god apart from that the manifestation of the power now joining you to the point of what we call the minshiach the minshiach is an anointing for completion an anointing for expansion so by the time these powers are working in your life it brings a minshiach dimension upon you so you find out that things that you do are getting completed are getting expanded after that the next dimension that will begin to happen is what we call anakazu when a man begins to walk in this in this protocol of power and a cause will become his reality he can begin to compare men to himself so you will not even know why you can just be in a region and they said that men are just coming to look for you you see all men seek for thee they don't even know why they are coming it's the dimensions of all these powers at working that bring them there were people that the feast was prepared for they refused to come for the feast jesus said go out there and compare men is by what we call anakazo the bible says because of the ointment the virgins love thee so people begin to traffic towards your location why because a power is in view and sometimes they will even want to make you a god apart from anakazo the next dimension of power that comes upon a man's life is what we call epikaizo a time comes as you begin to join into those power and overshadowing like what happened to jesus that while he was talking to them a cloud came and covered him and that cloud can take him up when you begin to join in these dimensions of power the next thing is epikaizo there is an overshadowing of the power in your life that you come to a point that even your shadow can begin to heal the sick you can come to that point where as you are moving everything about you is a cloud that goes so the bible says when jesus christ was praying his countenance was transformed and moses and elijah appeared and when they appeared a cloud came and overshadowed them it was a dimension of power referred to as epikaizo that when a man begin to journey in power he come to that dimension so anytime you go into a place and, and overshadow it you don't understand what happened the other time what happened was an epikaizo because as i stood there i saw a cloud came and when that cloud came i know that everybody will go under that influence when you begin to pray be conscious enough when this thing switch a portal open and that happened when mary was in the situation she was asked how can this thing be he said do not worry 
he said the spirit of god will overshadow you the power of the most High will overshadow you and you shall be conceived with the child what is trying to let her understand that a higher dimension of power will come which is called an epikaizo is a covering of the lord it's when the highest strength of the power of God find expression in a person's life. But the last dimension before we pray is what we call the Shekinah. When you begin to journey, a time comes that all the manifested strength of God tabernacle with the man. Right now it came and it go. I will have to pray it to come back again. But we can come to a point where the manifested presence of God can tabernacle. The Bible speak about the temple of the Lord. They speak about the outer court, the inner court, and the holies of holies. How that is holy in the holies of holies that the Shekinah glory is. And in that holies of holies, there is no light. Anytime you step in there, it's only the Lord Himself that is there. And there are two cherubs that cover us in glory. When a man begins to join in God and join into dimensions of power, he came to a point where the Shekinah tabernacle with him. There is a manifested presence of God around his life everywhere you go. This one now is not a shadow that cover. No, this one is when the temple of the Lord Himself dwells in you and in tabernacle. So you become an epitome of the Jewish experience of Moses. So when Moses remained with the Lord for 40 days, the Bible says his face glue. What happened? It was the Shekinah, the literal presence that come out from the holies of holies was what they saw in the outer court in the face of a man. And they could not be able to understand because the possibility of that means that anything that he say can happen and that was how moses became a god in israel when you begin to pray you begin to come into all these dimensions and when that dimensions are working in your life when you come into your class even if you want to fail you can't fail because a presence that is of an advantage is following you a man cannot carry the ark of the lord and fail is a lie anywhere the ark of the lord go the man prosper when a man come to the presence of the lord where the shekinah cover him he became like the ark of the covenant and when the man become like the ark of the covenant anything he do will prosper the goal is to come to a point where we become a living ark of the lord that me and you as we walk the ark is walking not that the presence of God comes and go, comes and go. No, that it comes and tabernacle. And that is the realm that all of us contend for. That the presence of God can come upon us and not go away. It can come and remain. And let me tell you the truth. If the Lord must remain, you must be able to ensure that you are his temple. You cannot defile it. That was why I started by editing the basic. If you miss what I said, all this revelation is a waste of time. Because the things that took away the big revelation are smaller things. All the mystery you know, one mumu small thing is what will take you out. I don't know whether the line has ever killed anybody, but she killed a man that can kill everybody. It's small things, things that you never imagine. The Bible says little foxes, little that spoil the man, as little as the foxes can be. Rise on your feet as we pray. The gift of prophecy being released right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Buras kababel and etetwa. Rabababa beskota. I see altars. I see altars broken right now. I see covenants. Covenants are being broken right now. Every demonic covenant is being broken right now. Oh my God. The Lord is empowering you. The Lord is empowering you. We are going to return back with the power of the Spirit. I see an activation going on within your spirit. The Lord is fine-tuning your spirit again. Oh my God. Pray some more. Before I teach anything, pray some more. I see a, I, I see a pool being stirred up. I see a pool being stirred up. The Lord said, We shall about jump into the pool. We partake of the wine again. Ah, 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 ah,
I'm going to anoint each and every one, but you have to make a rule so that we can be fast. After this, I'll pray for the campus leaders, the Buddha have sent us. Then I land the pastor want me to anoint this author. Please let and that's all. Let the ushers coordinate. Everybody we'll fast. Please. We are taking this route. We are coming from their place and coming like this. As I just pray for you, just go and go and continue praying. Mama, I call you. So my life. I call to you to love. I live the message for you. So my life. So my life. In the name of Jesus, let the power of the Lord come upon mightily upon you. In the name of Jesus, I am going to be power. As I don't touch you, just go. So I come to everybody. I pray for you. The strength and the grace of the Lord rest upon you. God bless the body. In the name of Jesus, you are anointed with power. You are anointed with power. You are anointed with power. You are pray louder. You are anointed with power. You are anointed with power. Let the power of the Lord bless the body. I see Lord this dimension. You will not lose it. You will not lose the grace of God. Let the power of the Lord bless the body. Let the power of the Lord bless the body. Let the power of the Lord bless the body. Let the power of the Lord rest upon you. Let the power of the Lord rest upon you. Add in the grace of the Lord. 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 Add in the grace of the Lord.
God bless you. God bless you. I bless you.